Hello, my name is Marcus, and this is Motion Graphics and Cheese. Today I'm going to show you how I would offset the animation of several layers using just one layer and some expressions. And of course, we could also find out whether or not penguins like pudding. So, let's get to it. So here we have a completely clean composition. As you can see, absolutely nothing's happening. So let's start by creating a new null layer. New null object, my apologies. Let's just call it control, because I like to control things. And then let's apply, let's go over here to effects and presets, and let's apply a slider control, all right? Because we need them sliders, yo. And the first top here, we're gonna call this delay. Then we're gonna duplicate it and call it randomness. Because we need some randomness, don't we? All right, so now we have the initial setup. So let's click on this ball here and let's alt click on position so we can start writing some expression here. We start by writing anim equals, and you want to pick whip to this layer's position. So now we have that initial value. So next line here, we're gonna write delay. And this is gonna be pick whip up to the delay from this uh, control layer. And we're gonna multiply it by its own index, this layer's index, and then minus one, because right now this is index two, we don't want it to start delaying already. So we're gonna subtract it from itself. Now the next part here is just to control the seed randomness of the randomness. So we're going to write seed random, this is going to become more apparent in a second. And we write true because we don't want it to change every single frame, we want it to stay the same. So now we're going to create a new variable called randomness. All right, and then we're going to use an expression called random. So the cool thing about random is you give it two values and it's gonna give you a random value between these two values uh, for every frame, or in this case, the, just this once. Uh, yeah, one single seed for the entire animation. That's why we wrote true up here, so that it doesn't alternate every single frame. So we switch this number out by randomness. So now it's gonna choose between zero and whatever we dictate up here in the control layer. All right. And let's get on to the next part here. So now we're going to write the expression that actually is going to control the animation. So anim value at time. And in here we're going to write another parentheses because one is just not enough. So time minus delay, which we wrote up here. Let's just expand this bit so we can see what the heck it is we're doing. Uh, delay and then minus our randomness. Um, a randomness variable that we made before and now over here we're gonna add it to parentheses value which is this layer's original value untainted by anything else minus the anim layer once again the control layers value at time but this time from frame zero that's why i'm writing zero so it's going to look at this layer's uh, value and then subtract it from the control layer's value at point zero in time so now you can see it's not really doing anything but that's because the control layer is not being animated yet so if we click on this position, let's just make a quick animation here so we can see what the heck we're doing, right? This is a horrible animation, but hopefully it gets my point across. So I'm going to select these keyframes, the, the one that are up in the air. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click keyframe velocity. I'm going to say speed zero, influence 100, speed zero, influence 100. So this is going to create this uh, nice, um, it's going to make it hang a lot in the air. Cool thing is, now we can right click, copy expression only, now we select the rest of the ball layers and then just click, well, paste, control V, bam. Now they're all gonna bounce in uh, synchronicity. But if we go up to the control layer and say delay 0 0.5, now they're gonna be a half second offset as you can see here which is pretty cool. Maybe you even want them to loop. So you can just L click on this position, on the control layer's position, and then write loop out. And that's pretty much it. And now the animation is gonna loop endlessly. It's just gonna every single time the last keyframe is uh, 
is surpassed, and it's going to start looping again, as you can see. And what's even cooler is that now we can apply this randomness we were talking about before. So if I press 2 here, so it's going to randomize between 2 a value of 0 and 2 seconds. So now they're just going to bounce randomly. The cool thing is this expression you can apply to to scale, to rotation, to whatever you want, basically. Whatever value you want to animate over time and that you want to be delayed in other layers, you can animate like this. So hopefully this was useful for you and uh, you can probably think of many new ways to apply this concept. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you again next time. Have a nice day.